Daniel Kapczynski, a member of the Foreign Affairs Select Committee and chair of the all-party parliamentary group on Saudi Arabia. Mr Kapczynski, um, last night the, the chairman of, of the committee upon which you sit, the Foreign Affairs Committee upon which you sit, called for some form of investigation, Crispin Blunt. We've now heard a senior member of Saudi military also call for an investigation into the possible commission of war crimes. And yet with Saudi Arabia, it often seems as if a different set of rules is being followed. Do you, do you think any investigation will unfold, will occur? Well, first of all, let me correct you. I'm not the chairman of the all-party group for Saudi Arabia. That's a, a Labour MP called Yasmin Qureshi. Um, but I'm extremely concerned that the very one-sided biased reporting of the Newsnight of this extremely complicated war. And uh, it seems that you, Newsnight and the BBC are determined uh, to ignore the atrocities that the Houthi tribes have implemented in Ye Yemen, the terrible brutality with which they are, have seized that country, uh, the firing of mortars into Saudi Arabia let, let me help you. from Yemen. Let, let me help you. I, I, the, we're not in Saudi Arabia. Politicians don't get to determine what journalists are and are not allowed to do. Our investigation was conducted into the very simple question of whether weapons sold by British companies to Saudi Arabia had possibly been deployed in the commission of war crimes and the breach of international law. I think most people understood that, but I'm happy to clarify it for you. So I'll return, if I may, to the question that I asked you originally. Do you have much hope that a proper investigation will be launched into what has been happening in Yemen and what our films have displayed? The BBC, for the record, have also been in Aden and have also reported upon Houthi atrocities. Well, I, I, I fundamentally dispute your coverage of the entire situation in Yemen, and you, you and Newsnight are trying to peddle a completely false prospectus to the British people on, of the situation on the ground. Are, are we going and it's to get close to, 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 are we going to get close to answering are, the question I've asked about an investigation, situation. Daniel Kapczynski? This is... This is a, a coalition, you keep referring to Saudi Arabia, this is a coalition of Gulf states, more than 10 countries are involved. Yes, that's why we say a Saudi-led coalition, it includes Qatar, it includes Bahrain, it includes Egypt, it may include countries from Sudan. I, I would like you to begin, me, I'd like you, you to begin to answering the question, the question I've asked, if you which is, do you feel... Do you I feel an investigation will ever happen? interrupting every time I want to answer the question. Well, right, here's the question. For the, the final question. time, do you think there will be a proper international investigation into the possible commission of war crimes by Saudi Arabia? You can take all the time in the world to answer that question, sir. The, the war crimes are being perpetrated by the Houthi tribes, not by Saudi Arabia. That bottling plant that you just saw footage of there had been bombed by airstrikes. Well, you keep referring to, you keep referring, you, you've sent a well, report. We've moved away again there, from the, the question. Do you think spent, there will be an investigation? You, know, you, you have an agenda at Newsnight, and you don't want anybody to Tell dispute me what the, agenda is. the way in which you are covering this war. What, what's you, the agenda? You have, an agenda against the, you have an agenda against the Gulf States coalition. And you want to peddle a myth that only one side is responsible for atrocities. No, we've just and, acknowledged uh, that the Houthis uh, are also uh, responsible uh, for atrocities. Uh, we've just listed other members so of the why, coalition. Why, so, why haven't, so why haven't you shown any coverage because of the Because the investigation in is into whether or not weapons in Yemen. sold no, no, by no, British no, no, no. This, companies have been used I, in the commission of war crimes possibly BBC, committed by Saudi Arabia. Every, the Houthis the are not our allies. Are, are acting in a completely disgraceful way remarkable and, uh, over the coverage of this war. Absolutely disgraceful. I, I, I feel guilty for and keeping you from your home this out. evening. The, the Houthis are not our allies and they're not our customers. Therefore, the public interest of British journalism is not served at this point by investigating what they have or have not been doing. We you sell are deliberately, You are deliberately giving a very biased, one-sided opinion of this appalling, complicated uh, war in Yemen. Uh, which 10 countries are acting upon. They are doing everything possible to limit uh, civilian casualties, and yet you are trying to deliberately uh, mislead the British people, and you are trying to cast some sort of aspersion on yes. the United Kingdom. Okay, and for, so are the United Nations. Uh, defense capability to Saudi Arabia. So and are the United Nations, so are Médecins Sans Frontières, so are most of the human rights organizations and aid charities on the ground in that country. We're all pursuing a single-minded, biased agenda against Saudi Arabia and their coalition. Yes.